Hi, this is Terry Butcher. Why not join me? Let's climb together and get yourself a half season ticket membership. Terry, if we can start off by just talking about the half season ticket membership, which was launched today here on Thursday, it involved you heading up to the top of Arthur's Seat. Can you tell our viewers a bit more about that, please? Well, it's flipping windy up there, I can tell them that for a start, but um, you can see the, the weather fronts coming over the top of the, of the city and from the Pentland Hills, but uh, it was a great experience for me. I'd never been up there before, ever, so to get the view of Easter Road and the view of uh, the whole of Edinburgh was quite fantastic, but um, it, was, it was done for a reason, that's for the you know, half-season ticket membership and to make sure that um, you know, we're, we're, we're climbing the table, climbing together on our journey, and uh, I certainly climbed a few steps to get up to the top, but... It's worth it because the view from there was just just immense, and um, you know we want to uh, we wanted something you know, dramatic to 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 promote the launch, um, and obviously the you know the the message behind it is you know climbing upwards and and onwards, and uh, we we aim to do that uh, all together. The fans, the players, the management directors, everybody at the club. The Arthur seat is the most famous seat in Edinburgh, but there's lots of seats here, obviously, at Easter Road that we're aiming to fill during the second half of the season with the half-season ticket memberships. What's your message to supporters that perhaps are evaluating whether or not to take the plunge and buy one? Well, we're looking at um, a new team from, from my point of view in terms of um, the confidence, the, the way that we want to play. It's a different style of, of, of playing. But um, Hibs fans want to see a winning team, and with only two wins in 2013, it's, it's not been great so far. So we can't change that that sort of stat. But what we can do is is give them more entertainment at home, and you know hopefully win some more matches as well. But um, it's just you know being part of something special. We we started the journey here. We're in two games into it, um, and those two games have been quite successful. We've taken small baby steps forward, and we want to continue to do that. And we want everybody to be together and be with us. Um, I think the more support we can get, the more uh, money that comes into the club, the more funds are available to me, as much in January, but also in the summer as well. And we're excited about you know, what we can do here in terms of the players that we have and the players that we can bring in. So um, it's, you know, it's good to be at the, at, at the start of something. I think um, we want a long journey here and a very successful journey. And if you're in at the start, then you, know, you can be there every step of the way. Winds have changed, but it's been a different type of wind that's really uh, affected us today with the uh, severe weather conditions that have affected the east of Scotland. How have the squad coped with that, Terry? Well, it's, it's a bit of make-do. I didn't expect to be in, indoors and inside so quickly, but uh, we've had some good weather, in fact, over the, the three weeks that we've been here uh, so far. Um, there's only one day when it's been really windy, but um, uh, Thursday was horrific. Today was awful. So even if we had the electricity, which we we, di we didn't have, even if that was on, uh, we couldn't have trained outside anyway because the wind was just horrific. And when you see the uh, the pictures that we have out at the training centre, um, there's, a, there's a right at the back of the pictures there's a little hill that runs down towards the fence. But and all the goals were actually down that hill, and the goals were on wheels. But the wind was so strong it just blew these goals, which are very heavy, uh, down into the dip uh, behind the you know the main. Uh, training pitches, so you can tell how strong the wind was. But so it was pointless being outside, and I think quite a few other teams would have would have experienced that as well. But we've we've, we've got the barn, we've got a good indoor facility there. The boys are in there, passing the ball about. But because of that, it enables uh, has enabled me to say, well, to Gary, I want to go and train on the pitch. And Colin the Groundsman's okayed that, uh, and we'll be down on Friday just to get um, familiar with the pitch again and I think the boys haven't been back since the Cali Thistle defeat so it'd be nice to get back on the pitch and you know enjoy the training session and hopefully take that enjoyment into the game on Saturday. In your opinion how can the group of players really galvanise their kind of bond with the stadium and the home crowd here because as you mentioned our home record for whatever reason hasn't been particularly good in this calendar year how can we put it right? Uh, win. I think it's very simple. We'll just win the game. Um, it doesn't matter how. Just get the three points and uh, send everybody home from Easter Road. Uh, our fans, obviously, uh, with a smile on their faces. But um, I just think that what the fans want to see, and I've spoken to a good few fans now and seen what their comments and heard them uh, voice their opinions, and they've all said the same thing. They want to see you know, the players play for the jersey and work very, very hard. And uh, um, I think if you've you know, seen the, the first two games under Morris and myself, the boys have certainly done just that. Um, there's ability in the team, we know that, but through the hard work, that ability will come out even more uh, and we will get better and we will create more chances and we will score more goals. So you know, the, the hard work has already started um, to do just that. So 
Um, we want to have a good link with the fans, and to do that, we've got to play well and give them something to cheer about, and not be afraid to go and you know play the way that we can play. But I think the players are enjoying it. The players know what to do now. They know their jobs. They know their roles. They know how we want to play. It's implementing that at Easter Road. You know, it's a place which hasn't held many good memories for um, Hibs players this year, 2013, and this season. So we want to change all that. I like changes. I like firsts. I like making. Um, new inroads or new records or creating different things, and um, you know we want to create a really good environment here at Easter Road for for ourselves, for the players, and obviously for the crowd too.